hands the boat here. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the left throttle cable on the carburetor. Okay, I'll, I'll just back up a little bit here. <laughs> okay. Goes right here. Uh huh. Goes down, or sorry, that's the bottom. Goes here. Oh. Then it slides into here. Mhm. Mm and then this is the right one. That's probably the most obvious to tell. Goes mm -hmm. on the shorter side. Oh yeah. Mhm. Mm that goes down to here as well. And then there's three hoses. Uh, mhm. Mm did they go in again? Okay. These two, the yellow mm -hmm. hoses. Yeah. They branched through the middle here. Oh. Okay. And they went. One down, went down to here, mm -hmm. or up to here, I guess. Mm -hmm. And then the other went up into here. Oh, yeah. It's kind of okay. like a carb cover. Mm -hmm. And then this fitting, this is the top again. Mm -hmm. This is the inlet. This goes right. into the engine. Yeah. This hose was for the carburetor heater, I guess, coolant pass through. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, this is for the fuel line going in to the carburetor from the pump. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty big hose, so it's not hard to see. Oh, that's that guy there, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. and then this blue hose here yeah. went down under underneath. Oh, and into it flipped there. into the black oh, right here. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we can get it. goes in the black that. fitting. Mm -hmm. And then this clear hose with a clamp on it. Mm -hmm. Went on to the white fitting. Oh, okay. Don't get those two mixed up. Good. It's a good thing you point it's, this out yeah. because, yeah, not having taken it apart myself, I would never. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I wouldn't know. I just <laughs> keep on hooking them all one to the, one other place, see if that works. Nope. <laughs> and, and if we come back in, to it in a Try week. 36 different ways. <laughs> yeah. It's like, wait. <laughs> Or even a month. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, wait, like, what? <laughs> what did you do what here? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now to okay. disassemble. Uh huh. Wow. Yeah. That won't be hard. Mm -hmm. There's going to be a lot more intricate pieces in here. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. on to that. Okay. So, on to that. Then. Yeah, now we're going to take this thing apart. Eh? <laughs> I need a light. It's pretty light here. Yeah, it's not too bad, but uh, might not hurt. Yeah. Okay. You should honestly have a drill. <laughs> I'll take this face off first. Uh -huh. and then I'll take off the bowls. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. See that screw? Yeah. See that? Pretty thick boy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Honestly don't see there being too many different kinds of screws on here. Uh-huh. Might not be an issue. This will actually be interesting. Mm-hmm. haven't taken apart double carb like this before. Most of these screws are the same size, I think, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. all four yeah. of those are. Yeah. Good. But they're not the same issues. Not through the air. Might have to open this one a little. Seems to want to follow the throttle actually. Yeah. Open it up that way and it close it. It goes mm -hmm. that way. Okay. That's not an issue. <clears throat> I'm actually thinking of starting my own small engines business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you should uh, maybe consider it. This is Mr. Haxi, he gave me a project. It's uh -huh. like this 1970s rototiller. Oh, yeah. Uh, big five horsepower thing, too. Man, oh. I tried it out in my yard. Uh -huh. and 
when I was roller tail in my garden, I was like holding a horse back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of, I can't lots do of this. thump to it. Eh? Oh yeah. <laughs> but it it had spark issues. It wasn't getting spark, uh-huh. so I had to look into like an old man manual. <laughs> it's like, how do you work on these things? Yeah. It's got these like breaker points tapped oh. together way behind the flywheel. So really old tech. Tech, oh yeah. yeah, really old technology. I guess Joshua got his rotor tiller going, eh? Did really? You know? Yeah. He's got he a said, rotor tiller. <laughs> oh, I thought he's. Yeah, I think it was the. He had that. The one kicking around. He got the lawnmower going. Okay. Now okay. that is actually pretty intricate. Yeah, it's kind of a little tricky how it wants to come apart, eh? You see that? Uh huh. Uh-huh. It's like it's like a piston that holds on to the oh shoot that's not a cylinder so I guess the throttle is basically a piston oh oh okay I need to get that out somehow there's a tiny spring in there that uh-huh. isn't actually in the right place on that mm. side mm. it's wrapped around right on here. Mm. Huh. I don't know if I want to take that screw out. Yeah. That might be adjusted to a specific. Oh, uh-huh. oh maybe not. Although it just seems to. Oh, yeah. Hmm. A lot of tiny little pieces in there for just a carburetor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Usually it's just a cable that hooks <laughs> onto it and pulls it up and down, right? Yeah, this is a little more <laughs> involved, eh? That's a 2014. Okay. Uh, Might be able to get this off now. Oh no. Okay. Just gotta hold your mouth the right way. Okay, so it seems that this plate actually pulls. Mm. The throttle out. Oh. The throttle plate out. So, I have to find a way to slide that off of that. Uh-huh. So, remember Tristan and Etsy. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that's a washer. I'll just stop the free. Very uh-huh. difficult. Yeah. Eh? I'm sure they make tools for this too. Uh, that might be the thing, eh? I hate mm, let me hold that leg off. <laughs> so I have to like pull it just the right way. Do you have straight needle nose pliers? Yeah, I can get some. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're not grabbing at all. Oh, like okay. I'll get some right different on ones. Let's try. So we look in here. Those two go right around both of those pins oh. holds that throttle plate whatever the heck it's called in mm-hmm. and they slide into here to keep them a certain distance apart and this spring <laughs> wraps down around both of those two pins oh, okay. and it looks like you're going to need some new springs because they weren't doing anything no way oh. yeah look at that they're not springs anymore in the bottom <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, they're just uh, straightened off, eh? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I should get that. You know, there might be a, an exploded parts diagram, too, I can get on this carburetor. I wonder. That might yeah. also help, eh? Yeah, that might help. We're going to go ahead and take that okay, out. Okay, let's see. So it should all come out now, eh? Hello, friend. Yes, that's the... Oh, I didn't lose that. There. It's mm-hmm. all out. Mm-hmm. Let those slide up. Should be nothing holding it in anymore, eh? <laughs> Let me think. Let's try half throttle. Oh, there we go. Full throttle. Mm-hmm. Not quite full throttle. It's half throttle. 
Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. a little sweet spot. Mm -hmm. Can't see in that crack. Mm. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that's hanging up on, eh? Yeah. Uh -huh. Should be free, but the little pin's still in that hole. Hmm. So maybe we gotta take that pin out too. Yeah, yeah. Almost looks like it, eh? Because if you move it forward, then the other end sits on it's on the frame, eh? Yeah. We need a tiny little Allen key. Oh, okay. I got lots of those. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I didn't even see that at first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'll That'll grab, be easy. I'll grab some. What size do you think that might be? Oh. I don't know. 164th or that small even? Yeah. yeah. If that. Okay. I'll, I'll, uh, I got lots of really tiny ones too. I'll just make sure I get a small enough one. Uh, let's see, that plastic wash was... That uh, was on top of everything underneath this mm -hmm. lock pin. Just in case this lock pin gets lost or taken mm -hmm. off, it is on the second groove from the top. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. And that is on the left carburetor, I guess you could say. Because mm -hmm. this is going into the engine. So, mm -hmm. second groove. Okay. We'll go ahead, we'll take... This side out. If we can wiggle it up. Get that Torx key in there. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's pretty tight in there. I'm kind of mm -hmm. surprised. <laughs> can you move that out of the way? And we will see if this is in the same spot. There she comes. Yeah, it's in the second group from the top as well. Uh -huh. I'm going to try and catch that. Oh, oh see, one. it fell off. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just a Good thing I noted that. <laughs> Which way it was oriented. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So we're going to keep uh, those two. Right? Oh, uh, wait. Is that even the right one? No, that's not it. Okay, it's somewhere here. Well, you sure? Because this one just had the one wash on it. Oh, that one's got a wash in there. Mm -hmm. It was that's just on there. Oh? I tapped it on something and fell off. Oh, because I don't see one on this one here. That one? Yeah, you got that, but that fell off. It's Oh, it's not, I thought it was one of those. No, I see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so it is. I am a professional. I know what yeah. I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. No, I just assumed that the thing laying there was it, but no, I guess we didn't get it, eh? I might have fallen inside the assembly there. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Probably. Alright. Piddly little thing. Mm -hmm. Need new gaskets, they're pretty flat. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't, you don't want that either. Eh? You slide out just like that. Uh huh. So we got this little pin here pointing uh -huh. inwards to the carb. Oh, yeah. And pointing inwards. Yeah, and this yeah, one's pointing oh, outwards. Outwards, oh, okay. Huh. So that's how that's oriented. And this just, that's all that holds a pin in. Huh. Oh, just that thing swinging over was yeah. capturing it. Some pretty yeah. fancy stuff by Skeeter. Hmm. Only no, that's, it seems to me that would be enough to hold in those grooves of that rod already, wouldn't they? Right? It just. Although this one does have something, mm -hmm. something else on it, but that's basically the same type of thing as, uh, yeah, that's just a small little, whatever they call those Snap things there. Ring, maybe. Snap ring, yeah. I, I have a feeling it's on. It probably the took off somewhere, yeah. That's going to be really hard to find. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Unless it winds. <laughs> Unless it's somewhere stuck in this carburetor and we find it inside the cylinder later. <laughs> That's true. Right. 
Bang, bang. What's that? Oh, I think we found that little snap. Oh, found oh it. there it is. So it never travels too Travel far. a little ways, yeah. Little bugger. Okay. So okay. I am a professional. <laughs> Alright, next stop, the mm -hmm. bowl. The bowl, eh? Yeah. I actually figured out how to take it off. Uh-huh. It's really easy. Probably for if you're up in the mountains and need to do a quick bowl empty. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just this bolt. They make that pretty simple. This bolt and one screw in the corner. That screw oh, yeah. probably isn't even necessary, to be honest. Hmm. That's it. Hmm. Yeah, so you just empty out your bowl, get whatever cruddy varnishes out of there. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. Your floats are like still white. They're not uh, even yellow yet. No, that's maybe they got replaced not long ago or something. Yeah, that's really clean. Hmm. Kind of shocked. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, maybe the carb was done not all that long ago. You never know, eh? See how this one looks. Mm -hmm. I'll post this on YouTube later too, on the private private viewing if you like. It doesn't matter if <laughs> it's private or not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but you know, in a way, I use YouTube as a storage device, eh? Ah. You know, because they don't charge anything for storing your videos on there. And I run out of disk space, so sometimes if it's something I don't need to make a, a fancy video of, I just upload it to YouTube, and it's always accessible, too. Like, even it's in the field, idea. I could ex access this out at the cabin, right? Ah, yeah. 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 I never thought so of that. take the bowls off or something like that and say, what, what, what's this part? <laughs> so that one looks... A little darker, but not basically the same, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's clean. It's a whistle. Mm -hmm. That's something, eh? Take the plungers mm -hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Might even be able to take the plunger out. Well, well no, so that doesn't move back. Oh, probably uh -huh. snap that. Uh huh. Still old school. But it's mm. definitely got a modern twist of Chinese plastic in it. <laughs> Goes to show some things are just more reliable. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when I was taking part to Harley, working on Harleys, I always took uh, photos and videos of what I was doing there, too. Cause, uh, and I'd have to refer to them quite often to see. Oh, yeah. I know the feeling. Yeah, because you just, it looks so obvious when you're taking apart, but then when you're going back together, it looks different. And it's real nice and clean. Yeah, isn't that, eh? It looks like a brand new carb, doesn't it? Oh, there's nothing moving through that pin. Is it plugged, do you think? Yep, probably. Ah, ah. That goes right in. From there, it's kind of like okay. a weeping hole if it gets flooded. Mm. It goes down back into the carb. So that wouldn't be good. That might CLR be. will fix that. Yeah. That toilet bowl cleaner too. Uh -huh. Got to ask Etsy for toilet bowl cleaner. Oh, well, do you have some of that? You want me to get some now, or you? you, you yeah. You well, plan on using it right like this before using the CLR? Oh no, no, I'm going to mix the toilet bowl cleaner in with the sealer. Oh, with the sealer. Oh, okay. Well, so this is repetition of the last one, so what I'll do is I'll stop this recording and I'll get some toilet bowl cleaner. Okay. So the little uh, fuel adjuster is right, uh, that thing there, eh? I think it's a vacuum adjustment. Oh. Air fuel yeah. mixture. Mm hmm. Yeah, and that's something within reach when it's on the. Yeah. Although, isn't that, wouldn't that be on the far side? Yeah, this is oh. how it'll be sitting in the engine, so it makes oh, sense yeah, that yeah. I've never seen that so before. So it's on this, oh, it's on the it's opposite side. It's facing inside the Yeah, engine. okay, that's why, yeah. Because the fact that it's facing away is almost like they're saying that you don't want to fiddle with that too much. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's don't true. go turning that little knob unless you know what you're doing. <laughs>
Okay. Mm, it's ready for soaking. She's pretty much good for, we'll put her in some CLR with water and some of the comet. I checked that comet, uh, can. it doesn't say it's a, to avoid uh, aluminum. Okay. It just says uh, avoid silver. It might not be good for silver. Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Mm. What's that? I said if you want to get new gaskets for this. Might not be a bad idea, eh? Yeah, flag. okay. Yeah. I mean, once you start to see a ridge on something that should be round, usually means it's about time. Yeah, yeah, and if you're going through all the trouble of putting it together and taking it apart, yeah. might as well, for a few, yeah, a few exactly. bucks more, just do it right. Yeah, okay. Well, this is where choke cable goes on mm -hmm. to the carburetor. Mm -hmm. It was sitting about parallel with this choke pin oh. at resting place. Oh, okay. So, just so no. I don't forget that, mm -hmm. that's where it sits. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna swing around now when I pull that pin out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once she's taken apart, then you have so, no idea where it was. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's this here. That spring goes behind the plastic washer, mm -hmm. which is connected to this choke plunger. Yeah. Pusher thingy. Oh yeah, there's a little plastic washer there, yeah. This isn't a snap ring, this is just the end of that rod. Yeah, you gotta take it apart from the other side or something's gonna... Uh, I'll take all three screws loose and oh. this rod should slide yeah. right out. Just gotta remember uh, where they were. Right. I guess... Because so, having this choke lever in the wrong spot would mean that we'd have to adjust the choke cable mm -hmm. while we put it back together. Yeah. Yeah, I think once you get this little end pin off there, yeah, then that, yeah, yep. that can slide It'll out pop there. Out and the choke yeah. plungers will come out. Yeah, because that little screw there is just holding it against the rod, I think. Yeah. I'll actually be able to do that in two seconds. Mm -hmm. We can see how that looks. Yeah. If your screwdriver's tiny enough. Mm hmm. That's that little Allen head screw? Or, mm. Oh no, that's for uh, Phillips. Yeah. Yep, Phillips. Screwdriver's too fat. Oh, we don't have smaller ones in the kit here, huh? Eh? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, actually, I got it. Oh. We're all good. Just gotta find a good angle. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be annoying. You're gonna want to twist around. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that just slides right out. Yeah, once those things are loose on there. Oh, yeah, there mm -hmm. goes the spring. Yeah, but we know which position they're supposed to be in now. Yep. <laughs> Got it on tape. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> on disc. On disc. <laughs> DVD digital. <laughs> yeah. You don't use tape no more. <laughs> you mean measuring tape? <laughs> yeah, I use a tape. Masking tape. <laughs> and that is your choke. Huh. Not completely 100% sure how it works yeah but it does choke your motor so hmm mm -hmm. where did that come out of i didn't notice that come out oh oh that was oh that's where yeah oh so that is choking it somehow hey, well there's a little yeah there's a little hole inside there maybe it's restricting the air or something hey? there's one way to find out Oh, it's coming out of here. Oh, huh. So that means that this plate, wrong plate. Uh, yeah. Oh, the face. All oh, right. Yeah. yeah. So it was sitting yeah. out here like that. There's oh, yeah, there's a little channel there. Yeah. That channel goes straight into the carb. Uh -huh. So that means when your throttle face is closed, it's letting air in through there. Wow, that's that's a lot of. <laughs> Why? Why can't they just have a throat of choke butterfly plate? valve or something <laughs> right? like that and just <laughs> shut her down or open her up? Eh? It's just more things to go wrong. Yeah. Like honestly, ski do. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, eh? All right. Well, now well, it's ready for soaking. No, she's good for soaking. Okay. Good job, Tristan. <laughs> <laughs> You see, I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Professional. <laughs>